In this tutorial we will walk through the steps to create a SUMIF formula. This formula is very similar to the COUNTIF formula. The major difference is the SUMIF formula calculates the total value of the SUM range, whereas the COUNTIF formula counts the number of instances that a specified criteria occurs in a range of cells. We use the SUMIF formula when we are trying to calculate data based on one criteria. If there are more than one criteria in our formula, we would use the SUMIFS formula. The sum if adds numbers within a range that meet a specified condition. The three arguments for this formula are as follows. The range, the group of cells we want to evaluate. The criterion, the conditions that define the numbers we want to add. And the sum range, this is the optional group of cells to add if different from the range. Let's walk through an example. We have a sheet named, Weekly Order Report. This is where we want to calculate the total quantity sold for the current week. We have a separate sheet named orders where we compile our sales. We will use the sum ifs to calculate our sales data because we will use more than one criteria. Our criteria will be as follows. The item name must match. The order date must be equal to or greater than our start date. And the order date must be equal to or less than our end date. Let's go to our sheet named weekly sales report. We have our start date and end date on the top right. We will use both of these cells in our formula criterion. On the left we have our item names, followed by the variable we want to calculate, the order quantity. We will start by calculating the quantities sold for each item. Click on the order quantity cell for item A. Begin by typing the equal sign, followed by, some ifs. As you begin typing, Smartsheet will provide a list of suggested formulas. Click the box, some ifs. We will now enter the range, this is the value we want to add if the criteria is met. The range in this example is the order quantity located in our sheet named, orders. To do this, we will click on the, reference another sheet link to access or order sheet. From the pop-up window, navigate to the order sheet from the data sources listed on the left. Locate the column that contains the order quantity and click on the column header. You can change the sheet reference name at the top. We will name this sheet reference, quantity. Click the blue insert reference button at the bottom of the window. Type a comma before the end parenthesis in the formula to move to criterion 1, the item name. Once again, click the reference another sheet link and select the order sheet from the data sources on the left. Locate the order item name column and click on the column header. We will name this sheet reference, name. Click the blue insert reference button at the bottom of the window. Type a comma before the end parenthesis in the formula to separate the criterion range from the criterion, the item name. Click on the item name cell in the same row, followed by a comma. We will move to criterion 2, the start date. Click the reference another sheet link and select the order sheet from the data sources on the left and locate the order date column and click on the column header. We will name this sheet reference, date. Click the blue insert reference button. Enter a comma before the end parenthesis in the formula to separate the criterion range from the criterion. Since one of the criterion is the order date is greater than or equal to our start date, we will enter the greater than sign, followed by the equal sign. Click on the column containing the start date we want to use in our criterion. Type a comma to move to the last criterion as the end date. Once again, click the reference another sheet link. Now select the order sheet, and then click on the order date column. You will see the sheet reference name shows date. This is because we already named this reference column in the previous step. Click the blue insert reference button. Enter a comma before the end parenthesis in the formula to separate the criterion range from the final criterion, order date is less than or equal to our end date. Type the less than sign, followed by the equal sign. Now select the cell that shows our end date. Click the Enter key to finalize the formula. You will see the formula listed below. Since we want to copy this formula to all the order quantity rows, we will enter a dollar sign between the date and 1 of the start date. We will now enter another dollar sign, this time between the date and 2 of the end date. This will lock the criterion to row 1 and 2, the start and end date when we copy our formula. The final step is to copy and paste the formula to the rest of the columns. The order quantities have now been updated based on the data from our sheet. 
We hope this tutorial helped you better understand the sum if formula. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Smart Link Basics, for more helpful tips.